So today I have a very special video for you all. It's the first instalment of my Q&A series, which I'm going to be doing where I answer your guys' questions from the comments below. Thank you to everyone who asked me on Tuesday's videos your questions, and hopefully I can answer as many questions in this video as possible. Hopefully I will answer your question, and I'm sorry if I didn't. But before we begin, just a big thank you for asking me those questions, and keep asking them below, so you can appear in part two, part three, part four, maybe, I don't know, we can just do this and see how it goes. Got the questions on my phone, in case you wonder why I'm looking down to read. Do you want to build a... How? How does Frozen do it? How is it still always in our lives, no matter where you go? Do you want to build a snowman? No, I don't want to build a snowman. It's raining outside. There's no snow. No snow anywhere. But if it snows, then call me, because I'd want to build a snowman. Do you have any pets? No, unfortunately, I don't. I do love animals, but my dad is allergic to pretty much every pet, I think, with hair. So, I don't know. I guess I could figure that out when I move out. I might get a pet, you know? Wink, wink. Although, apparently, when I was one years old, we did have a goldfish, but me and my brother killed it because we overfed it, and apparently it ate all the food and exploded. So I became a goldfish murderer at the age of one years old. What is wrong with me? If you could meet any YouTuber, who would it be and why? That is a very, very good question. I'm going to go with Dan is not on fire, just because he seems really funny, cool to hang out with, and I watched a lot of his videos for a long time, and I just think I would just love... To meet him so if you're watching this you know call me <laughs> which youtuber inspired you to start your own channel i have said this before in a video if you go watch my youtube story video that i posted in 2013 but basically my main inspiration for vlogging was charlie is so cool like he makes videos a lot of short films and actually they're really good if you want to go look at his channel you've probably heard of him if you've heard of me you've most likely heard of him and then as i started to vlog my inspirations further became dan is not on fire amazing phil uh crab sticks you know all those people that they're, they're pretty awesome and you can go check them out you probably know them if you could have any superpower what what would it be? I think I would have the power of flight because then I could just go anywhere whenever I wanted and I could take people places if I didn't like them I could fly them off a cliff. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think if I could fly, I could just go wherever I wanted, and life would be really, really awesome, and I could just go to and from school really easily, and just, yeah, flight, flying far from film, quadruple F, that'd be across my chest there, you see. Turns out a lot of people asked who inspired me to start YouTube, so yeah, Charlie's so cool, like, Awesome. So there is a comment from someone called Michael Pesavento, I think, and they asked me loads of questions, so I'm going to answer them in a really quick fire fashion. So here we go. These are all what is your favorite blank questions, just in case you get confused. So uh, brace yourselves, I'll give you three seconds to mentally prepare yourself to digest the information that I'm going to lay onto you in the next few seconds. Three. Color. Orange. Dog. Pug. Cat. Tiger. Fish. <laughs> Goldfish that I killed. Pokemon. Infernape. Car. Any car that'll take me to the place that I want to go. Band. I can't pick one. Just music that I like I'll listen to, really. Donut. It's simple. It's sweet. A chocolate donut. Movie. Probably pitch perfect. Don't judge me on that one. Condiment. Mayonnaise. Maybe chocolate spread if that counts. I don't really know. Video game. Minecraft or Pokemon. And hat. I don't really have one, so I'm going to go with my bike helmet. It stops me from smashing my head open if I fall. Michael, thank you for that. What would you do if I showed up at your house as a fan but not a bad person to be honest i would say it depends where you're from what the situation is if my parents are home but i probably invite you in have a chat maybe we could film a video together i don't know but don't show up at my house and be like can we film a video because the answer will probably be no in hindsight okay so i have a lot of questions about my girlfriend who i've mentioned in a few videos so i'm just going to tell you a few things here is a picture that was taken recently of us i really like it um you can admire us for a second I first met her in February at the drama group I go to and we got together in May so we've been together nearly six months and I love you again. Her name is Jasmine by the way for those of you that wanted to know. Have you thought about what you want to do slash major in at university? No I haven't and this kind of freaks me out but I know that I'm going to take a gap year after my next year of sixth form so I've got this year, next year and then a gap year and then I'll decide what I want to do whether I want to go to university, maybe do some film course or something like that or if I want to work. We'll just see how it goes. But I just know that you guys are going to be there with me so that's awesome. You can find out in a few years. On a scale of one to four how fabulous are you do you really need to ask that like 10 <laughs> how do you get your hair to defy gravity like that <laughs> so uh basically it's just gel water then some gel and some drying time and then some ruffling around and boom Anti-gravity. Have you ever ridden a unicorn? No, but I probably have in a dream sometime. That sounds pretty cool, but no, I haven't, because unicorns aren't real. I'm just kidding. Stop stop crying. They're real. I get it. Would you rather poop glitter or puke confetti? Well, that's a crazy question, but I like it. What would you do? You could fart on someone and be like, glitter attack. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Or you could just be like, hey, my name is... <laughs> and be like confetti everywhere. Despite the damage it would do to my underwear and my toilet that would look really fabulous, I'd probably say I'd like to poop glitter. Why not? 
And the final question that I'm going to do today, sorry if I didn't answer your question, but I'll probably answer them in the next episode, but don't forget to leave some more new and crazy ones in the comments, is, do you have Instagram? And the answer is no, but do you think I should get one? Is it worth it? Would you follow me on it? And what do you think I could do on there to make it worthwhile for you guys to follow me on there? So, yeah, should I do that? Thank you for watching this Q&A. I had real fun filming it. You guys asked some weird questions. Oh, my laptop's gone down. Got to get a bit of self-advertising in there. Far from film. Go, go subscribe. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you all so much for your support. We reached the like goal on my last few videos, so could we please try and reach 70 likes on this video? I know that's a massive, massive ask, but I think we can do it together. I don't really have a name for my subscriber base, so just me and you, you and I, we can do this together. Thank you for watching. I will see you with a new video on Tuesday. I've got loads of cool new announcements to come up by the end of this year and it's going to be really awesome. So stick around and yeah, especially for December. Keep an eye out for December. You may have guessed what I'm going to be doing by the way I've worded that, but just, just keep your eye out. So if you want to go down there and click subscribe, you'll be told whenever I make a new video. If you like the video, that will make me really happy and follow me on Twitter and like me on Far From Film Facebook to see some awesome new things that I post. And yeah, I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye guys.